Uh, hi everyone and welcome back uh, to the series of uh, circuit practice problems. We have here another AC question and here we want to find V2 or the voltage across the, the inductor. And again here I will be using uh, nodal analysis and as you can see here the question is already or the circuit has been already written in frequency domain meaning that the voltage is in uh, phasors and it is in polar format and the reactances or the reactance of the capacitor and the reactance of the inductor are both written again in phasor in rectangular format so the circuit is ready to start the analysis okay so when you look here now here we have a dependent source it's a current dependent current source equal to 2ix and here it here is ix now we have here a voltage source we have these two nodes with the ground v1 and v2 when you look here carefully it's very obvious that v1 is the voltage between uh, this point and that point or across the 4 ohm which is exactly equal to 10 angle of 30 the voltage supply so this is my first equation your v1 is equal to 10 angle of angle of 30 volt now we can apply kcl at v2 we have one two and three branches so we can apply kcl here apply kcl at v2 assuming the currents are are leaving as we usually do so we will have v2 the current to the uh, to the left minus v1 which is 10 angle of 30 divided by the impedance or the reactance between them which is minus j j2 plus the current that goes through the inductor v2 divided by j1 and the current that leaves uh, the third branch is a current source which is equal to plus 2ix equal to zero so here we have one equation with two unknowns v2 and ix but ix is a dependent variable so we need to find what is ix basically ix is nothing but v1 divided by 4 and v1 is 10 angle of 30 divided by 4 so it's equal to 2.5 angle of of 30 it has a value because v1 is known to me so ix itself has a value in amps excellent i will substitute so i will substitute the value of ix in equation let me call this is equation one so substitute the value of ix in equation one so we will have v2 minus 10 angle of 30 divided by minus j2 plus v2 divided by j plus 2 times ix which is equal to plus 5 angle of 30 equal to, to 0 okay so this is one equation with one unknown it's very uh, straightforward but now we need to be careful dealing with the uh, complex numbers uh, so what i will be doing here i will be handling each term alone as we did in the previous question so i will be handling each term alone uh, and then we will add we will add them okay so we'll start with the first term so v2 minus 10 angle of 30 divided by minus j2 so this is the first term in the equation now we don't want at all to see in that denominator either imaginary number or a complex number what's the difference between the two a complex number is in the form a plus j b an imaginary number is only j b so i don't want to see, see j at all in the in the denominator how to get rid of it if it is in the complex format we multiply by the conjugate if it is in the imaginary format we'll just multiply by the same number so here i will multiply with 
j2 over j2. Or I could multiply by j over j. It doesn't really matter. I could do this or that. Okay. So this will equal to uh, v2 times j2 minus 10 angle of 30 times j2 divided by j2 times j2, which is j squared 4 or minus 4. And we have minus 10 plus plus 4. Then we will have the other term, which is this V2 over J1. So V2 over J1, I multiply by J over, over J. So this becomes equal to V2 times J divided by minus 1. J times J is J squared minus 1. So this is equal to minus V2 times times J. So now we are set to rewrite the equation. So we will have V2 that we uh, we will have V2 times J2 minus 10. So I'm just rewriting this equation, this term, and writing the whole equation, angle of 30. Now, J2 is nothing but 2 angle of 90, okay, divided by your uh, 4 minus v2 times j equal to so what i will do here i will take this here so this will equal to minus 5 angle of 30. let's get rid of the 4 multiply the whole thing times 4 so we'll have v2 times j2 minus 20 angle of 1 20 minus 4 v2 times j is equal to minus 20 angle of 30. so we will have the v2 in one side the constant in the other side so we will have here j2 v2 minus 4 j uh, v2 so this becomes equal to minus j2 v2 equal to minus 20 angle of 30 plus 20 angle of 1 120 okay so your v2 will equal to minus 20 angle of 30 plus 20 angle of 120 divided by minus j2 okay okay now i'm adding two polar number with different angles dividing by a rectangular number so now here we do we need to do some uh, uh conversion so here i cannot add these two numbers so i have to convert both of them into rectangular format so the first number will be equal to minus 17.32 minus j 10 so this is the minus 20 angle of 30 plus the 20 angle of 120 is minus 10 plus J 17.32 divided by minus J2. Okay, so now we add the real with the real, imaginary with the imaginary. This is equal to minus 27.32 plus J 7.32 divided by minus J2. Okay, now I'm dividing a rectangular by rectangular, it's better to convert both of them into, into polar. So this is equal to 28.28 angle of 165 divided by two angle of minus minus 90. We divide the magnitude, subtract the angles, then we will get 14.14 angle of 255, or you can say it's 14.14 angle of minus one zero five both of them are exactly the same the same thing so this is the voltage across the the inductor 